Hello everybody and welcome back to Nervous Ghost University. Today I want to talk about a book that is actually required reading in the engineering curriculum called Turncoat by Dresden Fells. It is book 11. I'm going to have to take my glasses off because it's that serious. This is one of the first books in Dresden Files that's actually very good. There's very little that I can say that's negative about this story because it's really just that good. Since the beginning of the Dresden Files, I've been wanting one specific thing. I wanted a coherent book with one plot that ends in a very distinct way that also pushes the plot forward in the broader scope of the Dresden universe. And for the first time in what is probably 15 years of this book, it does that. It goes through the trouble of having a significant effect on the universe and also significant effect on the readers, as it is a very emotional story. We have a lot of characters and a lot of plays going on in this, and by the end we see that a lot of the twists and turns that have been taken in the previous stories have actually wound up to impact this story quite a bit, and especially the twists and turns that allow us to recontextualize what happened at the beginning of the story. Throughout this very distinct and secularized murder mystery, we create a lot of uh, friends and families and alliances within the story that allow us to really mess with what we think that the story is. Instead of being a simple murder mystery, as you would usually have in like any old other novel, we have a very magical murder mystery. And instead of having a very magical, really hard, um, crime-fighting wizard resident that seems like he, he's just he's just too powerful, instead of that, we have a really delicate and really beautiful murder mystery that complements the other story in, in a really great way. Unlike a lot of the other stories, this one is very distinctly character-driven. There's not this huge plot going on. I, I mean, I guess that there is, but that's very secondary to what is pretty much a very human story with characters that we all know that comes to a very distinct and a very logical conclusion, a, a much larger story. And because of that, we have a lot of interest in the characters that it's occurring to, and we have a lot of interest in the plot that comes out of the plot that we're solving right now. And all of these things put together allows it to be a very the distinct murder mystery, a really, really good book that makes us actually care about what's going on. And this is one of the first books that does that because contrasted with other Russian Files books, this one has a very clear look at how it connects to the rest of the story. Its connection with the rest of the Dresden Files is very, very good, contrasted with The White Knight, which has a very poor connection to it. In the first half of the story, it has a very poor connection to the rest of the, the Dresden Files series, and the second half has a very strong connection. The reason that I struggled with White Knight so much is because of this weird, distinct center point, where it stops being a very small story and suddenly becomes a very large story. This doesn't happen in Turncoat, because it's essentially a distinct story from the rest of the series. And the fact that it connects to the rest of it is merely coincidental. It seems to not really try to be a story that connects with the rest of the Dresden Files until it is, and when it does, it's just perfect because it's a little cherry on top, and that's the sort of thing that I feel like would work so much better with Dresden, rather than having these shoehorned in plots that progress one story and push another story and brings in this, this random thing that we know we're going to use in the next couple of books, but right now it's not very good. This doesn't do any of that, and instead has a very, very strong story that is just what we want to have and what we need to have, with everything that's being set up for the future being sprinkled in on the end um, in a way that's really, really natural. And so putting all these things together, it, it's really hard to say that this isn't one of the better Dresden Files books. And in fact, it might as well be one of my top, top three Dresden uh, books. So I, I mean, at this point, that can't go much higher than a three, but a three is pretty good anyway. And thank you for watching. I'll see you later. Bye.